Hello everyone, my name is Deathrunner93 and we're going to be doing something a little bit different than everything else. Uh, you'll be seeing some images, maybe some gameplay and everything else. But what we're going to talk about is the newest episode that aired in Japan of Dragon Ball Super, episode 89. Now, you can probably see you got Roshi going on here and everything else. And this is all about three things. Roshi, Tien, fleshing out their story. And then we're also focusing on Universe, I believe it's 6, and Kava trying to find some people and everything else, and going to his old captain's sister, and going and seeing her gang and everything else. We'll cover that part a little later. But pretty much, you know, we got good old Roshi once again, you know, being Roshi. Um, we're going into what I like to call generic TN zone, where there's a bunch of basically generic TNs. And uh, it's pretty okay, you know, it's interesting to see Tien, he, he's starting a dojo up and everything else, and you know, he's kind of, he's straight away, he's fully straight away from everything, and he's kind of his own, his own man and everything, kind of doing, doing his own style, he's teaching people how to conserve their key, fly, use things, because in Dragon Ball, a lot of that stuff kind of got lost in time, like there's only a certain ones, because a lot of these fighters went into isolation, plus people went to go see Roshi, and different things like that. So a lot of this was less showing up and the world tournament kind of became a little of a joke because it slimmed back down to, you know, like what it is in real life, you know, like even though there's monsters and everything else, it just... And then, you know, of course, power levels are bullcrap, so, you know, and I feel like some of it that's going to get shown is basically easy way to bring people back in but realizing that in Z since they only focused on Saiyans you know or the, the occasional time they didn't focus on Saiyans that uh, yeah I just feel like you know they're trying to re redo what they what they did and everything they had a new character I swore on the previews that it was going to be I thought it was Chi Chi or something I was like what the heck's going on what's going on here like it's, it's Chi Chi what you know, and then you find out her saying, she's saying it's like it's Yurin or something like that. And, uh, or Yurin. And, yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm fine seeing these characters again, the, you know, the, the Japanese looking characters once more. I mean, every one of them are, but, mm, I just don't know how to say it. Like, going back to its roots and design. It was really cool. She first introduced herself, you know, she's just trying to learn. But she does kind of say, like, in dialogue or monologue to herself that she has ulterior motives against Tien himself which okay you know, you know and you know and she's getting annoyed Roshi's being Roshi you know he's flirting with her everything else he's like oh I see the panties everything you know being Roshi you know nose steam coming out like oh my gosh and uh, and so she's not very enthused her plan starts up and uh, she starts throwing these little talismans and making everybody kind of go like this and walk like, you know, ghost people. I forget what the correct term is, but it's like a Japanese style ghost where they're just arms like this, bruh, 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 you know, and they're just sitting there doing stuff, you know, and that happened, you know, and there was kind of a shield around the talisman so they couldn't simply, you know, get rid of the talisman so it made things a little bit more difficult. And of course, Goku here, he's kind of belittle, had to belittle himself all the way down because one, these are people, and you know, he could just, and that's it. And so, you know, he could wipe them out, but then the problem is it's not actually, you know, killing them. You know, that is the problem. And uh, that's a bunch of what we noticed with Goku coming back and trying to introduce characters that are not Vegeta. And so, you know, he's going back to Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. He's bringing it down, but he's also, his key control is amazing right now. Yeah, she, um, the, that, the girl and all that, you know, she's in this new costume developed by Roshi, I guess. And, um, Roshi's gonna be like, I'm taking care of this. I'm, I'm doing this. And I thought, okay, that was really cool, that was really cool. Uh, but the problem is, is Roshi, yeah, he failed. And he got taken over, and... Then we get to see basically Roshi be Roshi, but like old school Dragon Ball Roshi, like was really awesome. He was like bursted out in muscles, and he's just set and ready. I was super excited to see that and everything else. And uh, yeah, I mean, 
I'm not going to go too much more because I don't want to, like, once you realize this next bit kind of spoils a little bit of filler, but if you haven't watched the episode already, please do. Roshi's buffing up, though. Tien is, like, sitting here, you know, after Roshi's, like, sitting here all possessed and things. Tien's like, these my, this is my students, Goku. You take care of stuff. I will fight him. Tien sprouts a freaking Machoke, you know, into Monchamp style, you know, growing an extra two arms and being like... I'm going to do stuff, you know. Trying to show that Tien does stuff, you know, is really neat. He was once the strongest human. And uh, Roshi just, like, takes that electrocuting thing. I can't remember what it's called now because it was a very long name. But it was a, it was a lightning-esque ability that converts energy into, like, literally a shock. And it was a very deadly thing. And it was a lot of pain. Like, Goku had a hard time back in Dragon Ball. So it was neat to see that come back. A lot of this is coming back. A lot of homages. You know, and then Roshi, you know, it's like, almost like he's villainous, like from Xenoverse, like he's fighting Goku, and he's flying in a way, and you know, and he's fighting, and Goku makes a comment and goes and says, you know, and you know, of course Goku isn't going Super Saiyan, but he's like, so this is Roshi, you know, when he's not holding back. So Roshi's been, and he says Roshi's been training all these years. Now it's an easy way to say, you know, get the excuse going, but Roshi's been trained, he's prepped and ready. And so it's really cool to see that. I don't know how much stronger they made Roshi, but if we go by what we've seen in Resurrection F and maybe what he trained from there, yeah, and with Roshi having immortality in, in a way, or living for much, much longer than normal, he may have the physique of basically like a 50 or 40 year old, and he's like, you know, he's way older than that. So, I mean, he was already way up there. Now, I really want to get into, though, what really was the nitty gritty of the thing everybody's going to talk about. Which is, uh, uh, Cal Califa, if I believe her name was. You know, kind of a pun on Cauliflower. And this, she looks like Broly. She has pants, you know, she, you know, she just, she has the hair, everything. She looks like she could be Broly. I thought, because I thought maybe she just looks different once the World Tournament arc, because we've seen that preview and this girl with the ponytail, and she goes, brah, you know, muscle and all that. Well, little did we know, you know, here comes Kaba, you know, he's showing off Super Saiyan, he's kicking butt, and then, uh, you know, Caulifla is like, you know, what, what's what's this guy? What's what you doing right here? What are you doing, little guy? You know, he's like sitting there, and then all of a sudden, you know, you see, Kaba's looking at this one gal, and it's the gal, it's the Broly girl, and you're just like, and I believe her name is Kale, and I believe that a type of broccoli or or another term for broccoli. So once again, there are now two female saints. And one of them's a Broly. Will the other one be? I don't know. I'm guessing these two are siblings. But the fact of the matter is, is if we have a Broly and we have a, like an intense fighting Saiyan, I'm like, whoa, holy crap! Like this is kind of exciting here. You know, it's neat. You know, she kind of shows a little detest towards Kaba, so I'm guessing, you know, there's something going on there. Maybe, maybe you know, something ulterior motives. But if they are, her and Kalifa uh, and everything are sisters, they're like polar opposites. One's more brutish, one more fighter, and the other one's much more meek and silent and everything else. But the meek and silent one, if she becomes a Broly-esque character, then she's not going to be meek anymore. She's going to kick butt. And uh, I, for one, really would love to see how it goes. Now, if they do two Brolies, oh my gosh. Could you imagine two Brolies? Girl Broly just sitting here kicking butt. You know, that's scary, you know. But it really sums down to Kaba's literally the only thing that we get out of this that's, you know, because this is a smaller part. So, I mean, I can't focus as much on this, but it's the big hype thing. And, uh, she, you know, she's like, not bad for a Sadala Defense Force Elite and, you know, all that stuff. So basically, she, you know, she's telling, she's, you know, she's saying Kaba's doing good and everything else and all. Oh, I, I really every bit of this got me giddy because there's all these characters the broly s character would you know she ends up saying a line that's like she's interested but also with the idea that she can go higher than super saiyan now i don't know if she's talking about super saiyan 2 3 super, legendary super saiyan super saiyan blue i don't know maybe a new one a super saiyan white or green we don't know but either way it's super exciting there's so much here and all that but what do you think? What do you think? This is just kind of talking, going over the episode. My thoughts is it's a filler episode. 
Is it setting things up? Yes. Is it exciting? Yes. Is it cool to see Roshi come back? Very much so. Roshi was always awesome. Always loved to see more of him and everything else. Tien, I wasn't always the biggest fan of him, but I did like him way more than Yamcha. And now that TM's being my champ, you know, and everything, the DBZ my champ, that'll be kind of neat, you know, or an Asura, I guess, he was being very more towards. It, it, it's interesting. I really hope it'll be something really good there. And, uh, the whole Kalifa and Kale and everything else, that's going to be great. I don't know if that's their, their full names, but that's what I'm getting from the wiki and other sources, so we're going to go with that. I'm excited for that, just seeing more Saiyans, female Saiyans, seeing more, you know, everything fleshed out and different, really exciting and all that. But leave a comment below what you thought, what you think will happen next, and how you feel, you know, about all this. Like, you know, if one, one universe is going to live and we're getting excited about all this, you know, what's going on? You know, this is crazy. This is going to be super crazy, and it's just going more and more. And in the previews, they're showing Gohan versus Goku a second time. So for Gohan's ultimate Gohan. Oh my gosh. You would have to see the preview to understand it fully. It will look great. It's going to be really cool. Next week's episode, I will love. But if you want to see more of these reviews and everything else, just leave a comment below. My name is Seth193. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.